Here we're going to tie a very simple midge dry fly. Just your basic midge. First thing we're going to do is start with some hackle fibers that I've plucked from a hackle feather. We're going to tie these right on top of the shank of the hook. We're going to wrap our thread back down to the bend. And then I can trim out the butt ends. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to dub a very sparse body with some super fine dubbing. And uh, you can use a white dubbing or a light cream, kind of a yellowish, pale yellow dubbing. We're going to put this on our thread. And I'm going to very thinly put it on my thread. I just put enough to coat the thread. I don't want to put any more than that on there. And I'm just going to take my dubbing and wrap it forward until I get about oh, three quarters of the way up there, about a third or so of the way from the eye. Then we're going to prepare our dry fly hackle here. I've got just a little hen hackle, or a little, uh, I'm sorry, a little cape piece of hackle from a rooster cape. We're going to tie that in, take our thread all the way up to the eye. Now we're ready to wrap our hackle. I'm going to use a pair of hackle pliers. I'm very delicately going to wrap this hackle around the shank of the hook. Each wrap right in front of the other. And once I get all the way up to the eye, I'm going to leave just one wrap short. I'm going to capture that hackle. Give it a couple of wraps. I can trim out that extra hackle tip. Get any stray fibers out of there if I need to. Then I can whip finish. Three or four turns the whip finish should be enough. And you have yourself just a basic little dry fly midge. This fly has been around for a long time. It still catches fish to this day. It can be tied in lots of different colors. It can be tied in black, olive, gray, cream. And that's how to tie just a basic little midge.